Boys. In today's video, we have a lot of good clips. A lot has happened in the last three days, and some of it is actually pretty hilarious. We have Justin Trudeau, who enters Parliament on Rocky Balboa music, like he was an undefeatable boxer or something like that. And we have Pierre Polyev, who's actually going to meme him in response to his entry uh, to Parliament on Rocky Balboa music. Now, this is sounds like made-up stuff, but it actually did happen. This is Justin Trudeau on the side here, entering Parliament on Rocky Balboa music. And this is hilarious. I can't play the music, obviously, because it's copyright. But it still really happened. In this next video, we have Pierre right here that is memeing Justin Trudeau for coming in Parliament on a Rocky Balboa song. This is hilarious to watch. I want to start by re reassuring all of you. Uh, I'm not going to force you to listen to the Rocky Balboa theme song today, as Justin Trudeau did in his caucus. Apparent revive uh, the latest uprisings against his leadership was to force his caucus members to nod in agreement that he, in effect, in effect, is Rocky Balboa. Um, of course, in every time Justin Trudeau sees a movie. He thinks of himself as the star performer, right? <laughs> the lights are on him, and most of all, he is the victim of all of these unfair shots, and he is battered and bloody. This is up from a man who inherited a multi-million dollar trust fund from his grandfather, a famous name and political career from his father, who jets around the country and spends more than 14, he emits more greenhouse gases than 14,000 average Canadian families combined. But yet he is somehow the underdog and the victims. Well, my friends, I had a great summer traveling across this country and in 214 events in all regions across this vast and varied land I have witnessed in the men and women that I saw in these places, the real champions, the real fighters, the real Rocky Balboa, Balboas, and they are going to have common sense conservatives axing the tax in their corners after the next carbon tax election. <laughs> Now that's funny because you keep seeing Christian Freeland and Justin Trudeau saying, oh, we travel Canada and we're talking to Canadians everywhere when you have Pierre Polyev who's been to over 220 locations in Canada during the summer. So you can see who's been working and actually talking with Canadians. It's pretty much the Conservatives and not the Liberals. It's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here and thanks for watching.